I think the concept of eradication is a concept that people, generally speaking, don't understand. After we eradicated smallpox and I went to the University of Michigan as a professor, I commissioned a study, market opinion research, and we asked Americans how many people knew what smallpox was, what caused it, that it had been eradicated. And it won't surprise you to know that 8% of Americans knew that we had eradicated smallpox, which means 92% of us didn't know that. So probably, arguably, one of the most dramatic and important successes in the history of public health or medicine, the 92% of Americans didn't know that it had occurred. It was a difficult time. We worked in the middle of floods and famines and strikes on the railways and strikes of the airplanes and no ability to talk to the remote areas. Remember, it was a time in the 70s that there were no computers, there were no cell phones, where you had to stand in line for three hours to book a trunk call, which meant to make a phone call more than 30 miles. Smallpox cost the international community $150 million to eradicate. The recurring benefits, it's just in economic terms, forget the human suffering terms, those benefits are billions of dollars every year. Now ask the question, what is the best investment in public health in the world? And I would say it's polio. The global public health is at a crossroads. If all we eradicate in the history of our species is one disease, smallpox, it will be an aberration. It'll be an anecdote. But if we can eradicate polio, it will embolden us. If we fail, which I don't think we will, I think it'll have a deflationary effect on people's confidence in what we can do in global public health. That's why it's so important.